right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. St. Louis and I rise today in solidarity with the Palestinian people and in memory of our brother, Bassam Masri, a Ferguson activist who was with us on the front lines of our uprising for justice following the police murder of Michael Brown Jr. Bassam was a St. Louis Palestinian. Bassam also lived in Jerusalem, Palestine. Bassam was one of us. He showed up ready. As a Palestinian, he was ready to resist, to rebel, to rise up with us as our St. Louis community mourned Mike Brown Jr.'s state-sanctioned murder and as we demanded an end to the militarized police occupation of our communities. Palestinians know what state violence, militarized policing, and, occup and occupation of their communities look like. And they've lived that reality of having to go through checkpoints while trying to live their lives. They know this reality and the reality of so much more. So when heavily militarized police forces showed up in Ferguson in 2014, Bassam and so many others of our St. Louis Palestinian community, our, our Palestinian siblings showed up too. I remember sitting in a circle on the grass near where Michael Brown Jr. was murdered, and I remember them describing to us what to do when militarized law enforcement shot us with rubber bullets or when they tear gassed us. I remember learning that the same equipment that they used to brutalize us in the same, in the, is the same equipment that we send to the Israeli military to police and brutalize Palestinians. I remember Bassam putting his life on the line with us. I remember him live streaming for the whole world to see our struggle. I remember our solidarity and I remember the harassment, the extortion, the brutalization he faced for resisting with us. That harassment, that extortion, that brutalization by a heavily armed militarized presence in our community, that's what we fund when our government sends our tax dollars to the Israeli military. St. Louis sent me here to save lives. Bassam's loved ones and his community, our St. Louis community sent me here to save lives. So we, that means we oppose our money going to fund militarized policing, occupation and systems of violent oppression and trauma. We are anti-war, we are anti-occupation and we are anti-apartheid, period. If this body is looking for something productive to do with $3 million instead of funding a military that polices and kills Palestinians, I have some communities in St. Louis City and in St. Louis County that they, where that money can go, where we desperately need investment, where we are hurting, where we need help. Let us prioritize funding there. Prioritize funding life, not destruction. So today, we remember Bassam. We remember his resistance in the face of militarized police occupation as a St. Louis and a, a St. Louis and Anna Palestinian. We lost him to a health crisis, but we remember his words today. Until all our children are safe, we will continue to fight for our rights in Palestine and in Ferguson. We stand with you in solidarity. Thank you.